Hello Internet, welcome to Lex Universe. So, I'm not sure whether you can say it from the background, but we are in Singapore Changi International Airport, and I wanted to film a video about our overnight layover here, because honestly, I was trying to find out whether there's anything to do here overnight, and, and I couldn't find much information, so I will try to explore it on my own. I'm not sure whether you will see anything in this video, but hopefully it will be helpful, and we will explore night in Singapore. Let's go. So let's fill out on the water first. Before you can enter Singapore, you need to fill out this form. So I guess I will just So, I bought a coffee, actually it's, I, I thought I needed a coffee because I'm sleepy, then I realized I cannot drink caffeine, so I got decaf, which was completely pointless, but it's good. Hmm. Anyway, it cost some uh, 720 Singaporean dollars, which is roughly, I don't know, 5 US dollars, so it's actually not that expensive. We will start with the most. Probably the first thing everybody shows you on Singapore airport. Let's check the jewel. So this is the famous indoor waterfall. As you can see, it's obviously not working now because it's fucking late at night. This video will be very disappointing, what do you think? So, the jewel genera is accessible at night, but everything's closed here, so it doesn't make much sense. So we found a shop that is open. So in case you didn't recognize it, we are in the Chinatown. And let's try what we can actually see here. It's like 2 a.m. so everybody is asleep. Oh, okay, this is also open. Cool. Too bad I don't need it. This is basically the main temple here, the Buddha Teeth Tooth Temple. Would be a lot better if we could see it, but yeah. So this is basically the answer to my question. What can you see in Singapore after midnight? You can see things, but they're definitely probably better when they are either lit up before midnight or during the day.
You know, at this point, I'm just excited every time I see some lights. Finally, something that's open. It's cool. That's cool. I mean, this city is just a ghost town after midnight. Another country, another fresh juice. I think sobriety really suits me, doesn't it? Well, this place is cool for many reasons. One of them being it's open 24-7 and you can go to the restroom here if you are stuck in the city overnight. So that's another benefit. Not to mention you can get something to drink or eat. They, will, oh, they even have beer. So if that's something you want. Wow, it has had. And we got dinner. Or maybe just like very late supper. But you know, I will say something controversial. I don't think Singapore is that expensive. Or maybe my country got so much more expensive than now, I don't see it anymore. I don't know. This place is really surprising. It's called Lao Pasap. It's like this uh, marketplace. There are a lot of little... They're not shops, they're like restaurants, like just kiosks where you can buy some uh, small foods and like you, I show you, it's very good. And it's so inexpensive, like a normal bowl of rice and chicken you can get for, I don't know, like six Singapore dollars, it's like four US dollars. Um, you can have like this, I don't even know the names of all the dishes, but it's really so good. But it's really so inexpensive. I don't know, everybody's like telling everybody that Singapore is a very expensive country. I mean, it may be more expensive than the rest of Southeastern Asia, but I don't actually think it's that, that, it's that expensive. It's not even that much more expensive than Vietnam, which surprises me. We got like two hours here, that's cool, but let's move on. Right, so we found a 24-7 7-Eleven. Once again, the prices are really okay. Chicken web from, for like, you know, three US dollars. They're not even that. That looks weird. That's cool, it's powered by motion and it gives you great cooling spot. So this shopping center at the Marina Sands seems to be open. That's cool. So actually it wasn't a surprise because the marina seems to be more lit up than I expected. So that's cool. And there are no people there, so that's also a plus. And this, um, most of the shops are closed. Maybe all of them, but at least we can rest in some AC. That's always good.
and we are back at the Changi airport and well the sun is risen and our flight is about to depart and I am totally dead because I haven't slept in days so I guess I will give you a summary when I arrive home So that was Singapore. I was really surprised to be honest because I kind of expected that there will be nothing to see overnight but we found this great place to get something to eat. Even the marina was still kind of nicely lit so uh, I got some beautiful pictures of night skyline of Singapore so yeah I'm quite happy. I hope you enjoyed it as well and I hope it gave you some idea what you should expect if you have a long overnight layover in Singapore. And if you enjoyed this video, please give me a like, subscribe to my channel, check out my other social media and I will see you next time.